Hello, YouTubers. Want to give an update on the Regal. Got it together, got oil pressure. I got it crunk a couple of days ago. Uh, want to give an update on what I did. That's an alternator off an 07 GMC Sierra 5.3. It doesn't need the Holly kit to run. It sees RPMs and it starts charging. I have uh, the exhaust for a Buick Regal 86, 87 was 800 bucks. I wasn't gonna spend that kind of money. So I ordered a three inch exhaust for a Chevelle 69. Chevelle and a G-Body has the same, pretty much the same suspension in the rear. So I use the uh, exhaust off a three inch, three inch exhaust for a 69 Chevelle. And amazingly enough, you know, the tailpipes on the 69 Chevelle go all the way to the rear. That's the tailpipe for the uh, one side. Okay, guess what I did? I used the tailpipe on this side and gonna use it on that side for the downpipe. It works great. See, on this car, I don't need to go to the bumper. I'm gonna bring it out the rear and dump it out behind the tire like a regular Grand National. But um, I got just a little issue with my power steering. I got it from a junkyard and power steering holes and it's leaking. So I ordered a new one, it's in the house. This is a uh, pump off a 2000 truck. Been on here for 10 years, it's leaking. So I ordered a new one of those, but I got the accessories on, I got the alternator on, I gotta finish up the wiring. I gotta run a wire for the two-step and I gotta run a wire for the dome pressure sensor, which is here. I ordered a compressor for the trunk to run the boost. So I don't have to run, I live in the woods. Where I'm from, we got one red light. So I can't run way up there to get a CO2 bottle filled. So I just ordered the compressor for the trunk and I'm gonna run my boost with that. Put the two-step wiring in there. I got coal, coal extension wires. I'm gonna put the coals under the engine on both sides. I got new spark plug wires, but it cranks up and it runs. I got a radiator hose just, just um, mocked up to, to crank it up and get heat in it. Um, I'm going to probably try to do an A&N fittings on uh, those lines so it'll look a lot neater. Uh, but, it, but it runs. That tailpipe right there is going to be the downpipe for this side. It fits perfectly. I got to do a little finagling with that one, but the other side fits great. So I got the full exhaust. It'll run all the way through the car. It's just a 6 9 Chevelle is about the same as a Regal. The rear suspension, I needed what, you know, the pipes to go over the rear. And those are the mid pipes. Run down the center of the car. And once, once you come over the rear, you just dump it outside here. You're not going to need the tailpipes. It works great. I'm going to see if it'll crank up. It's low on fuel because I haven't been to the gas station. And uh, E85 is not readily available where I live. So it runs. If it'll crank because it's low on fuel. This is a little holly screen. And, uh, yeah, it's um, it's together. Here to pump primer. Oh, they rev it a little, little bit and it starts charging. Look at this. Whoa. See? It's charging. Anyway, it runs. Still got some fine tuning to do. It's not out of fuel. The gas hand even the gas hand even works. But that's about it. I just wanted to give an update. The car's running. I got the transmission filled with fluid. It drives. It moves. I ran through the gears. Uh I was gonna put a aftermarket shifter in it, a pro stick. That's it right there. But I couldn't bring myself to cut up the stock shift. I couldn't do console. I had to cut console up. So what I did, ordered the, uh, I went in, took the shifter apart, fixed it, had a few broken springs, rusty or whatever, cleaned it up, and I ordered a new uh, T-handle like on the Grand National. Jesus, they high, $100 a piece. But I got a Grand National over there, and, a, and this one here, same, same shifter handle. Anyway, took it apart. And everything works. Everything works. So, 
reverse lockout part. So, I I'm going to leave the stock shift, uh, shifter in it for now anyway. It works great. Yeah. Runs good. I hadn't dri driven it yet, but I ran through the gears while it was on the lift, and it shifts out. So, um, I just wanted to let you know. Got turbo blankets in the house. Header wrap. It's it's coming together. So I just wanted to let you know. Um, when I get moments, I take my time and work on it. So thank you guys for watching.